Hey guys, it's Sadie, and today I want to do a video on how I got to 1,000 subscribers, so maybe I can help some other people. I know a lot of people trying to reach that milestone, so here are some tips and tricks I learned along the way, and hopefully help someone. So if you have a channel, want to start a channel, or just like hearing me talk, keep watching. If you don't have a channel, or if you have a channel and you're not really uploading, this is the best advice I could give to like anyone like struggling in any way. Just to like upload. Like some people are really critical on themselves and if they don't 100% love their video, they don't want to upload it or like they procrastinate or they don't get started for so many reasons, just do it. Your first few videos are not going to be good. Like they're just not unless you're some prodigy, which most of us aren't. And you have to get past that cringy phase so your videos can start actually being good. Like I watch my old videos and I think they suck. But I think that's a good thing because it shows I've grown and that the videos I'm making now are better than what I started out making. I also find that it's very important to have an upload schedule. I think preferably twice a week works better. But I got to 1k subs doing one video a week and sometimes I missed it. I didn't upload once a week. but. I did most of the time and that made people like, I upload every Saturday so people would come to my channel on Saturdays and they were expecting content from me. And then the more, if you have a schedule, you're more likely to upload regularly instead of just uploading whenever. So like, if I know like, oh, okay, I have to have a video out by this Saturday, it pushes me to film something, to come up with ideas, to edit, and all that jazz. And the more you upload, the more potential you have to get more subscribers because more people are going to see that video. and want some to you. Okay, so now let's talk about the actual videos that you should make or that you will make. So when you're just starting out, I recommend having videos that are, are around 10-ish minutes long. So I'm going to say this a lot in this video. If you don't have a lot of subs and you don't have like a base audience, when people click on your videos, they're kind of taking a chance on you and time is really valuable to a lot of people. So if they don't know a video is going to be good, they're not going to click on a 20 minute video not knowing if they're going to like it or not. But if your video is only 8 minutes long, you'll be like, okay, might as well try watching it and see if it's funny or if I like it. So, it's good to start out with smaller, sh shorter videos, which is hard a lot of the time because sometimes you have so many good parts. But I would say it's like, only edit out the really, really good parts. If a part's like so-so, just cut it out. Like, make it as short as possible. You're going to end up cutting out, like, good parts of your video. And it's gonna hurt you it hurts me to do that but then the end product is so much better because only great parts you know i'll get into editing more later and what i'd also say is have a short intro just be to the point and jump right into the video so many people make like two minute long intros and people once again they're taking a chance on you they don't know if they're gonna like the video or not if they get bored in that first two minutes they're just gonna click away they're not gonna keep watching you're gonna lose people and the video might have been great, but if the intro is long and boring and you ramble on, they're going to leave and they'll never know. And then lots of people will tell you that you have to stick to like a niche um, or like do only one specific type of video. I don't do that. I'm sure it's easier if you stick to a niche, but I think that also can make you get, be burnt out more because if you want to do lots of things and you're limiting yourself, you're going to not be happy. So I do a variety of content. What I, what I would say is I just keep my audience in mind. and. Keep in mind what you want your content to do. So with my content, I want to make people laugh. I want to make people smile. And I want to like share my thoughts. That kind of sums up what I like to do. So no matter what type of video I'm making, I make sure that I try to do all of those things. So like I, throw, I make sure there's comedy in all my videos. I throw in a little joke or two. I like to share my personality because I think if you don't have a niche, you have to sell kind of yourself in a way. That makes it sound weird. But you have to sell your personality to people. You have to have people like you specifically not just your videos so I try to show a lot of personality in my videos and no matter what I'm doing like for example I do like beauty but this is not a beauty channel and I know my audience and know lots of them wouldn't be interested in beauty so I don't do beauty related videos unless there's a lot of comedy and personality in it so like I did e-girl makeup for a video but there's also like a life update and I was talking about my life as I did the makeup and mostly do content that you like and that you would want to watch and I think that you're good if you're doing that because you'll be happier that way and then it probably will be good content if it's if you honestly think that you would watch it yourself 
Okay, now let's get into editing. But there's a million different editing softwares and they all kind of work the same. If you're going to edit on your phone like I do, I highly, highly recommend Video Leap. It's free and it does like everything. But so many people, when they start out, I see them like, they just upload like raw videos onto their YouTube channel with like no editing or very, very little editing. And that's not the way to go in my opinion. But I think the most important thing to do while editing, and this is mostly what I do, it's the first thing I do whenever I start to edit a video, is to add jump cuts. You're just editing out like pauses from your video. You don't want there to be any silence in your videos. And then that's when you cut out parts that where you were rambling or and you make your video shorter. Cause like, okay, that part doesn't need to be in there. That wasn't really funny or that wasn't really helpful. It makes it more watchable if there's no pauses. Cause it's just blah, 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 blah. Like it's just constantly going and it'll make people less likely to click away. And it'll keep them on your channel, on your video. So you want to do it, but you want to make sure it feels natural. Cause you don't want it to be like, Hey guys, what's up? Any other editing stuff kind of depends on the type of video you're making and like what you're trying to do with your video, like if you're trying to be funny, helpful, informational. You can add text, images. What I like to do is like, um, I make lots of funny faces. So if I make like a really funny face, sometimes you can kind of miss it in the video. So to emphasize, it was a funny moment already. Editing, if you're going to do comedy, you want to emphasize parts that are already funny, not use editing to make the video funny. So if I make like a funny face or expression or something, or I say something funny, and you can kind of miss the joke, what I like to do is I like zoom up a little bit on myself, so like I'll be like, like that. Yeah, but editing can differ so much. What I recommend is pay attention to the YouTubers that you really, really like watching that make similar content to what you want to make and pay attention to how they edit their videos and then you can kind of pick up on things they do and start doing it in your own videos as long as you just are still original. Don't like copy someone, obviously. Okay, thumbnails. I feel like I'm not the most qualified person to give advice on thumbnails because I feel like I'm really bad at thumbnails. Some people, when they start out, don't add thumbnails. That's a no. You need thumbnails because that's what's going to get someone to click on your video. And if you don't have a thumbnail, it looks bad and like unprofessional. And people will think the video is bad and unprofessional. They just will not click on your video. Like, think about do you click on videos with no thumbnails? I usually don't. <laughs> so what I do is I just like kind of look at the thumbnail after I'm done editing it. I'm like, would I click on this? And if the answer is no, I change it. I try to I start over sometimes, you know. And then I'm gonna say what I said about editing with thumbnails, look at YouTubers that you really like and that make similar content to you and see kind of things that they do with their thumbnails that maybe you can incorporate into your thumbnails and then as you keep going, try to develop like a style. So like I kind of do these like collage thingies, as you can see here. So when you look at my channel, it all matches and it has a distinct style where you can look at that thumbnail and be like, oh yeah, that's Sadie's channel. Okay, next is social media. If you have a YouTube channel and you don't have any social media to promote it, you're doing it wrong. When I started my channel, I just started uploading videos to YouTube expecting people to somehow find it and watch my videos, which is not gonna happen unless it's like a fluke viral video, which is not what I was making. Hands down, the best platform to promote your channel is Twitter. I have gotten most of my subscribers from Twitter directly, not from YouTube or anywhere else. Okay, so first off, you're gonna want your Twitter. And every time you upload a new video, you're gonna make a tweet. Post it on your Twitter so people and promote the video on Twitter. But also a mistake that some people make that I see is they only talk about their videos and their YouTube channel on Twitter. Try to post about other things, like funny, relatable tweets. It depends on who you are and your type of content and personality. Whatever your thing is, try to post stuff on your Twitter so people like your Twitter and then go from your Twitter to your YouTube channel. And then make it very clear on your Twitter that you have a YouTube channel without being obnoxious. I have my bio here. And then my, have the link to your channel in like the link on your bio. Like have it there. You want to make it easy for people to find your channel because they don't know you. They don't know if you're going to be good or not. So people aren't going to try really hard to find your channel. You have to make it really, really easy for them, as easy as possible. And then I always have my most recent video pinned on the top so people can see that and be like, oh, that looks interesting, and like click on it. And then also on Twitter and the other social media platforms, you can join lots of group chats with other small YouTubers. And if you're interacting with other small YouTubers, you'll find them. Um, if you want to join mine, I have a group chat. Um, just comment below. And group chats 
usually what happens, you have to keep joining them because they kind of die after a while. Um, try to find ones where people actually talk and form like friendships and relationships with each other because then to me that's more effective if you're actually making friendships with people and you can always get like advice from other people or like input or like if YouTube's glitching or something you can kind of get like advice or like see if other people are going through the same thing. They're very very helpful and then you can post every time you upload a new video send the link to the group chat and then people might check out their videos and then be sure to check out other links that people put in it because if you want people to support you, you should also be supporting other people. I think that's fair. But don't do like support for support, which I'll get into that more later. <laughs> and then the other social media that I use to promote my channel is Instagram. And Instagram's kind of better for me if just to give people that already follow me like bonus pictures and content for me. I haven't gotten a lot of people to go from my Instagram to my YouTube. But it depends on what you're doing. If you're like a beauty youtuber or like lifestyle or like exercise content like that on youtube i think is better to promote instagram than like stuff like i do you want to spam all your social media basically when you upload a new video because you want everyone to know what's there especially since not everyone checks their youtube subscriptions and sometimes they're not working right you want to make it very clear that people know you've uploaded a new video so shove it in their face <laughs> but not too much don't be annoying Okay, now we're going to talk about networking, which is the most important thing to do to grow your channel, especially when you're just starting out. Uh, networking is a part everyone misses and forgets about and like doesn't do, and it's the most important, in my opinion, besides making good content, which I can't really help you on that. You're either good or you're not at some point. So like I said, make friends, like actual friends. Don't like just support people randomly, like try to form relationships with people and connections with people. Like most of my viewers, I see more as like a friend, which might sound cheesy, but like, because I actually talk to these people, I'm going to talk about engagement more later, but like, I just form relationships with lots of other small YouTubers and people who watch my content, and that makes them more willing to support me, but it's also, I like supporting them because they support me, and it's more fun that way too. I keep mentioning sub for sub, support for support, and follow for follow, and if you're kind of new to the small YouTube community, you might have no idea what I'm talking about. If you have been here for a little while, you know what I'm talking about and you're sick of it probably. Um, people who are offered to do stuff for stuff with you constantly where you subscribe to their channel and they subscribe back to your channel, don't do that. It's not good because then you have what's called like ghost followers where they're subscribers but they don't actually watch your content and also sometimes they end up unsubbing like a month later. So it's, you're not actually growing and then sometimes you can have like a bunch of subs but like no views on your videos and it looks really really bad it's bad for your channel it's not only not helpful it's bad don't do it and people will get really mad at you if you ask them to do it and then same with follow for follow and then people will try like support for support where like you both subscribe to each other and then consistently watch each other's videos it just feels really fake and it doesn't last long it's in general to me i've i'll be honest i've tried that with people it doesn't work in the long run, it's not really helpful, and it's not really honest. I don't really like it. I don't recommend it. Also, I learned the hard way with lots of these things. Like, I'm telling you not to do it because I've done it at some point. <laughs> so if you're just starting out, the best way to like make friends and like connect with people is find other channels. Preferably people who make content similar to yours, but it's okay if they don't. And Find people you genuinely like and watch their videos and then like leave a genuine comment like watch the entire video don't just watch 30 seconds of it actually watch it and like leave a genuine comment don't just say like i like the video blah 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 like say like something genuine like oh that joke was really funny i really like this part of the haul say what your favorite part of the haul was leave a genuine comment on their video and then if they might check out your channel but if they don't that's fine that's their decision <laughs> And if they don't, commenting on their videos is really important in general because if they don't check out your channel, someone in the comments might check out your channel. And like when you comment on people's videos, don't ask them to come to your channel. Like don't self-promote. That's really annoying. People don't like that. I'll most likely go to spam and no one will see it or people will ignore it on purpose or get really mad at you. Okay, and now I'm going to talk about SEO and you might be like, what the hell is that? I didn't know what it was for a while either and people would talk about and not explain it so I'm going to explain it to you. <laughs> so SEO stands for search engine optimization and it's basically like ways you can use like your title and hashtags and other things 
to make your video come up more in the search engine and in the algorithm. So the first thing is the title is so important. It's very, very important and most people don't know this, they just make their title whatever. Your title is an opportunity to really boost your video. Is you want to make your title something that people are actually like searching for, but not a lot of people are making that their title. I'll explain more. <laughs> the best way to find a good title for your video is to go into like a YouTube search bar and type in like one word related to your video and see what comes up. So I'm going to use a recent video of mine that did really, really well because of my SEO. Um, and that was a reaction to the new Batman trailer. So what I did is I typed into the search for just Batman and I saw like what people are searching for. And then the, the top result, one of the top results was Batman trailer reaction. I clicked on that. And you want to click on multiple things and see what comes up. Because Let's say like the top result was Batman teaser trailer reaction and you clicked on that and it was only like big YouTubers reacting to it and like all the videos have millions of views and all the channels that did it have millions of subscribers. You don't want to click on that because they will drown out your video and people won't see your video. They're going to click on the more popular videos first for more popular YouTubers. But let's say when you click on Batman trailer reaction it's just small, it's mostly a small channel and there's videos that only have a few hundred views on it and they're from channels with only like a thousand subs or a few hundred subs. That's perfect because people are searching for it but, not, but big channels aren't coming up so people, will, lots of people will search for it and your video is going to be near the top, people are going to see it and if you have a good thumbnail on top of that, they're going to click on it and they're going to watch it. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so that's why sometimes you're title isn't exactly what you want it to be and it doesn't like say everything that you want it to say. Like some people make their titles too long, like let's say for Batman, if some someone might put like the Batman teaser trailer with Robert Pattinson reaction, no one's typing all that into the search bar. Even though you want to include all that information in it, make that the title that you put in your thumbnail because you should add like a title to your thumbnail but it doesn't have to be the same title as the actual title and that's actually preferable because you can give people more information. Basically the title that you actually type into YouTube, you want to use that to boost your video in the algorithm and in, in the search engine. The title that you put in the thumbnail is what you want to get people to click. And then another way to boost your videos on YouTube is to use hashtags and tags. And when I started making videos, I didn't even know tags existed. I wasn't using them and no one found my videos until I started using tags. Tags will be on the bottom of your video. And for tags, just put in any tag you can think of that's related to your video. Like as many as possible, like put a lot, it doesn't hurt. And then you can add hashtags to your video, which I think is a newer feature. I didn't know about it until like very, very recently. But if in your description, if you put like a hashtag, like hashtag Batman or something, that'll come up like in blue on the top. And then that will be used to like boost your video and stuff. The hashtags, and you can only do up to six. If you click on a video, the hashtags on that video is what YouTube will use to recommend a new video. So if you use other hashtags, like if I just use Batman hashtags on my video, YouTube's just going to recommend other Batman videos to the viewer. So instead, I like to do hashtags that's going to bring people back to my channel. So I always make Shady Sadie, which is my username, the first hashtag on all of my videos. And I do like only two that are just related to what I made. So like Batman, Batman trailer, let's just say that. And then those are the three that come up. So those, those don't look tacky. They're like normal hashtags. And then I make hashtags for my own channel that I make the other three. I'll make the hashtag like Shady Sadie Reacts. And I put that hashtag on all my reaction videos. And so if people like this video, YouTube will recommend my videos to the viewer because the hashtags are going to match. So yeah, basically that's all the advice I have for, for right now. If you like other videos like this where I give advice, like um, how I edit my videos, what goes into a video, any other advice, or if you want me to go into more detail about any of these topics, feel free to tell me that and I might make more videos like this where I give advice to other small YouTubers. I really like doing this. So if you like this, I will do more content like this. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. You can also reach out to me on any of my social media. And if you're new to my channel, Hi, I'm Sadie. If you like this video, maybe you can check out some of the other videos. And if you like those, maybe you could subscribe. That'd be great. It means the world to me. If you're not new, don't unsubscribe. Um, like, share, comment, all that jazz. Peace out.